Cycle time is an important metric for software engineering leaders to track because it shows the efficiency your team has getting value into the hands of customers. We think it's more important than counting tasks, story points, or lines of code. So let's look at why and how to use cycle time. It begins when your developer first begins working on a new feature and concludes when that feature gets released into the hands of customers. And within cycle time, there's a number of phases that are important to track as well. The time it takes your developer to work on the new feature and issue the first PR, we call that fun time or coding time. After the PR has been issued, the time it takes for it to get picked up is pickup time. After the PR has been picked up, the time it takes to go through the review process, make changes, and merge that fork or branch, we call review time. And of course, after the fork or branch has been merged, the time it takes for it to get released, we call release time. Merge time is another important indicator, especially for some organizations that have continuous deployment, their merge time is effectively their cycle time. So how do we use cycle time? If you look at cycle time over each of your teams, over each of your iterations, you'll start to get a sense for your efficiency and your trending over time. More importantly, by measuring each phase of cycle time, you'll identify bottlenecks in your delivery and ways that you can fix those. So for example, if one team has a pickup time higher than others, you know you need to dig in on the importance of the review process with them and potentially even look at their workload as a team. Another example is if your release time is trending higher over time, you know it may be time to invest in continuous delivery and continuous deployment. And you can actually look at cycle time in real time to fix issues in real time inside of your iteration versus after. So for example, if your review time is a lot higher in your current iteration than normal, that may be a signal that your team needs more information from product management. And you can actually dig in and fix that and ensure that you hit your date. So another note about real-time review of cycle time, there's a lot of other use cases where if you see it inside of your iteration, you can actually fix it. And so we think reviewing cycle time in real time is important. In order to do that, you need to get your data directly from the source. If you're relying on data just from JIRA or your project management system, since it's being updated manually, it may not be accurate enough for you to act on. Cycle time definitely works with whatever process you use, including Kanban or Scrum. And we definitely think in addition to looking at cycle time across your entire organization, you should look at it across teams because every team is different and every team needs help in a different area. Linear B helps customers see their cycle time in real time by combining data from your Git repository and your project management system to create a real-time picture for you of your cycle time. To see more, you can sign up for a free trial on our website. It takes about five minutes or request a demo and we'll be happy to set up a live personalized demo for you. Thanks so much.